Hello, my name is Ryan from Buster Beagle 3D, and today I'm going to tell you about my brief experience with the Xtool Metal Fab machine. I was invited by Xtool to visit Sunnyvale, California, where I had the chance to work with the machine for a few hours to give you my experience using it. Now, a disclaimer that I am in no way, shape, or form an experienced welder or metal worker, so I was really excited to learn about the machine to see if it's something I could envision myself working with in the future to expand my making abilities. So what did I think of the machine? And how could I go from zero experience to this in just a few hours? Well, let's find out. <laughs> Get out of here. So first I want to explain exactly what this machine is. It's really two machines that can be bought together or simply purchase the welder by itself. So first we have the welder. Again, I'm not an expert in welding at all. When I tell you that welding exists, I've told you pretty much everything I know about welding. In fact, the first time I tried MIG welding over a decade ago, it ended in failure and had me selling the machine I bought about a week after I bought it. This X-Tool laser welder uses a direct feed stainless steel wire fed through a separate feeder along with a gas such as argon and a high energy laser beam to melt and fuse the metal together. There is an 800 watt and a 1200 watt machine that's being offered by the company and the one that I was using was the 1200 watt. Now this device can also be used for freehand cutting and cleaning of metal, although that was not what I had used the machine for. I'll get into the welding of the machine in a little bit, but while you could purchase the welding and cutting components of this machine, there's a second part of this machine, and that is the CNC cutter that will work in conjunction with the welder. The CNC cutter essentially attaches the wand of the laser welder to turn the tool into something that can be controlled by Xtool Creative Space software for precision cutting of jobs much like the Xtool S1 and P2 machines, it is equipped with cameras and smart functions for being able to see what you're working on and optimize the space. With the 1200 watt, you can cut up to 10 millimeters of carbon steel. I personally cut out about three millimeters of steel in this job to make this fire pit. Now to cut with the machine, you will need to use either some sort of compressed air or compressed gas. Unfortunately, when I was using the machine, there was no compressed air sources high enough to be used, so we used argon gas at a high pressure. However, Xtool mentions on their Kickstarter page that they have developed both their own air compressor and air dryer. I was literally able to see it for two seconds in their live stream on the machine, but now it's also on their website and it's available. One of the benefits of using gas over compressed air is that you would be sure not to oxidize the metal as you cut it. So you just wouldn't see kind of a rusted edge where you cut. I'm guessing that is why the compressor is meant to be used in conjunction with the air dryer to remove the water from the air so you don't get as much of that oxidation. You would still need some sort of gas like argon or nitrogen with the welding portion of this machine so you would still need a source of gas at some point, so keep that in mind that it's another consumable that you would have to purchase when using this machine. The CNC machine has a workable area of two feet by two feet or 610 millimeters by 610 millimeters. There is a pass-through on the side that allows you to insert the metal sheets that are longer than this, so you can still cut those as well. I was able to use the machine at the makerspace called Maker Nexus. I wanted to give them a quick shout out as it's an amazing place where people can go and learn all kinds of things like woodworking, 3D printers, laser engravers, welding, metal shop, leather making, printing, etc. I wanted to give a huge shout out to Ginger over at Maker Nexus who without her I wouldn't have been able to do any of this because she showed me how to use the machine in the first place. So with everything in place, Ginger showed me how to set everything up by placing the welding gun back into the CNC machine. With that in place, I dropped some files in that I had prepared beforehand into Creative Space and set my first job. The first attempt was a single panel of this fire pit to make sure that we had all of the settings correct. With that working and confirmed, it was just a matter of loading the rest of the file and cutting it out. It was really that simple. You can see just how fast the machine is blowing through this material. 
Not only that, it's cutting it very cleanly without much kerf at all. There was a tiny bit of material that needed to be cleaned up before moving to the next phase, so using a grinder I quickly hit the surface to clean the burrs on the edges. Now again, this was a very small amount of material, and you can see here on this test piece just how tight the tolerance is with the two parts that I put back together. You certainly would not get that with a plasma cutter or many water jet machines. It really reminds me of those wire EDM machines for those kind of precision that you can get. With all of the pieces cut, Ginger was kind enough to explain to me how the welding portion of the machine worked. First, there is a different tool head that you have to use depending on the operation you are doing. So she showed me how to swap out those and explained how to use the interface on the machine to set the proper settings for the material I was trying to weld. When welding with this device, you are essentially welding or cutting for that matter with a high power fiber laser. So you need to wear protective glasses to protect you from the 1080 nanometer fiber laser beam, which is what you would see me using. So it's very important that not only you, but everyone else in the room wear protective glasses, just like you would if you were running an open laser in the room. Keep in mind that this is a high power fiber laser. Lasers reflect off of reflective surfaces, so you have to be careful not to reflect that beam to where you don't want it to be. For that reason, and because we're running this device in a working maker space, we had to wait until the end of the day to do any welding in the area without my welding expert, Ginger. Luckily, I had some assistance from Josh over at the Harley Designs YouTube channel, who is an experienced welder to help me out. Be sure to check out his channel that has some really cool content having to do with RC cars and other assorted maker stuff, so go check him out. With the help of Josh's lovely wife filming and Josh helping to hold the parts together, I was able to weld this entire fire pit in about 30 minutes. Now, am I going to win any welding awards for this? N no, but to go from zero experience to welding this entire thing in about 30 minutes was really impressive to me. Not only that, but in that 30 minutes, I ended up getting significantly better at it. By the end of that 30 minutes, I was laying down some really smooth and consistent welds. I can only imagine how nice this would have turned out if I had more time, but alas, unfortunately, I did not. I still feel like I was able to accomplish quite a lot in the short time that I had with the machine. Does this match professional welding machine? I have no clue since I'm not a professional welder. I'm not even a novice. I'm just someone who was able to use it to put together a few pieces of metal to make this hobby piece. With the fire pit back home in Los Angeles, I hit it with a coat of high heat grill paint to give it that final finish coat. I'm moving into a new house, so I can't wait to drop this in my backyard and try it out. Now comes the issue with the machine that even X-Tool Marketing on their Kickstarter kind of pokes fun at, the cost. Now there's just one tiny issue. It's a bit expensive. Introducing X-Tool Metal Fab CNC Cutter. It's even more expensive. Sorry about that. The starting range for the welder alone at 800 watts is $5,500 on their website. The 1200 watt that I use starts at 7,500. The 800 watt with the CNC machine is $13,000 and the 1200 watt combo is $15,000. Now it's a pretty impressive piece of tech and I know that I would certainly love to have one, but at the price that still remains to be seen. So is this something you're thinking of picking up? Please let me know in the comments and there will also be a link to this machine in the video description. A big thank you once again to Xtool for the invite to come check this machine out and I look forward to more opportunities to try out this new tech as it really does open up a whole new world of possibilities for making some really new and cool items. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content having to do with laser engraving, injection molding, 3D printers, and all things maker. Thanks again, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.